So, what we have here is everybody's favorite box, the frog box. It's looking kind of skimpy now. Have not put anything new in there in quite a while and been taken out, been making withdrawals and no deposits. That's not a good formula for saving anything up. But we've got all these right here. Basically, everybody's seen this happen to your frog. One of the legs will get sunken in like this. So I have never seen this done, but I have a theory that if I put this in boiling water, it will help it. So I'm about to drop a lot of these frogs in boiling water. I don't know what it's going to do with these little rubber legs, but we're going to try it anyways because i got nothing to lose. I hate when a frog looks like that. So I've got quite a few of them that I'm going to drop in the water and see if it fix it or not. And then after that, I've got a few that had well, the legs were not looking too good. So I'm going to put new legs in quite a few and make them all look better because there's nothing wrong with the frogs. Hooks are a little bent, a little banged up, but they'll still catch plenty of bass. So we're going to get them back fully operational. I to take care of my babies. All right. I don't know what's going to happen with these legs, but let's put them in there and see. The hooks are weighing them down in the weight and flipping them over like I would expect a good froggy to do. So, just give it a couple minutes. Y'all can tell which one of my favorite colors, right? Lots in there. That one sunk. Did it? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. So as you can see, they're not 100% perfect. There's still a little bit of an indention on, like right here. There's one that was pretty bad. A little indention right here, but it's better, a lot better. They all look a whole lot better. So for ones like this now, we're about to put some replacement legs in. So here are the new legs on the frogs. This is a uh, Killer Gill colored one. It's actually old one. You can tell by the paint job on this one. It's a little bit of the older kind of Killer Gill, the first generation or something. But there's a new legs on it. You can see in some of these, I actually put some silicone. That's some white silicone mixed with some rubber. Gonna give it a little bit different action, maybe. I don't know, I don't think it really matters, but I just want a little bit of white in there. So, that's all the ones I did. Legs looking good. Time to put them back in the box, and let's go catch some. Unfortunately, I waited too long. But, after I was messing with those frogs yesterday, I really, really wanted to come bust a few on it. So, put it in close to the house today. But, the water's about foot, foot low which is just the right amount where they ain't under the daggum bushes. So let's still go skip some for a whole day and catch two fish probably. How's that sound to you, Hunter? Like what we always do. <laughs> awesome. Come on, dude, be up in there. He's a flying fish. <laughs> he's over, he's over something. <laughs> I can't get him, get oh, him out. Pick it up. The fish is in the tree. It's a tree fish. He's over a little vine. Oh my God. Stay right there. <laughs> he's around the trolling motor. I can't get the line. I got it. Man, why'd you film the steel? <laughs> Dug him out of the tree. That was not easy. Don't put him back in. <laughs> I got to put him in. I'm sure he's tired, dude. He's been bungee jumping in there. Sorry, buddy. Man. Water's low, but they are right on the daggum bank. I mean, they are up there. Shallow, shallow, shallow. There's no big ones so far. These are some hanging up suckers today, ain't they? He came off. No, he didn't. 
These are some hanging up suckers today, boy. I tell you what. These suckers stay hung up all day gum day. Makes sense to me. Hey, look how I had him hooked. Barely, dude. That's all it took. 13 incher. <clears throat> Got a little one on it. Man. Can't believe I'm not catching more fish or else bigger fish. Either one will be fine. I don't care if they're 12 inches as long as I get to set the hook a lot. I don't like setting the hook every 30 minutes and they're 12 inches. I saw him come and get it, but I didn't think he had it. They done missed it so many times today when they bought it just like that. 12 incher. Where's all them three pounders at that were up here? Spotted bass. They're just kind of up there in the shade, just kind of cruising in seawalls. They don't do that very often on this lake. He ate it swimming. Still just a little one though. All right, so check this out. Put them brand new legs in these frogs and then took a fish in one day, ripped the mouth open in that one, no good. Ripped the bottom of that one open. See a little slit right there? No good. Oh well, just put them legs in there. That's the color leg I wanted in the killer gill. So the water dropped about a foot and obviously I did try to change a few times throughout the day. You can see I caught some other little fish doing some different stuff, but I did get, I don't know how many, five, six, seven bites throwing a frog under bushes. They just were all one pounders to one and a half pounders. So nothing good. The three pounders are not up there anymore. Does it seem like? I think the water's just dropped enough where they're kind of in a funky state. The current's kind of low and the water's dropping. So what they do a lot of times in that is they suspend out over the break. And you, you can see them cruising around out. You know, they'll be sitting over 10 foot and you'll see them just floating kind of up in one foot. I saw two fives and then a four and then some twos doing that on this day that you are watching. So they're kind of suspended. They're kind of funky state. When the water drops all the way, the fish will be really, really good. Or if the current cranks up at any point, the current, they'll, they'll be really, really good because they got to get on the available cover that's left. But for right now, the fish are not that good up there. I'm going to go down next time I fish Chickamauga probably and fish some stained water or fish hydrilla because it's dropping and it's gonna be matted so see y'all appreciate y'all watching though leave a like leave a comment hit the subscribe button still like 65 percent of y'all are not subscribed so if you are not subscribed click that red subscribe button help me out see y'all